Yes, we're on the road, as you can see. Today we're heading for the Chocolate Hills. The Chocolate Hills is a must when you visit the hall. As you can see, we still have quite a way to go to reach the Chocolate Hills, because they're right over there in the yonder. So, lots of beautiful countryside we can see here. We can see the rice plantations, We even see the rice drying on the road. Anyhow, Rene put his foot down and we were there in a short while. The Chocolate Hills is one of the main attractions when visiting the hall. And at night time you can actually go on search parties to see if you can see some Tajirs. Tajirs are the endangered species, those little primates with big, big eyes. They long fingers. I don't think we'll be taking quad bikes today, but I'm sure a lot of people come here and uh, quad bike rides. We got here lots of souvenirs. Lots of souvenir t-shirts here. video of your lovely stuff here and um, you have magnets for fridge it's great really? coconut shell purse this is amazing see this this coconut shell purse made from coconut shell and um, can hold all your coins who makes these? Mountain Our people? Supplier. Oh, you have a supplier? That's amazing. We have five pieces for one hundred magnets. Magnets. Okay, great. We've got some different texture fabrics going on here. It's all about the Tarshu. See his face? Tarshu. The whole Philippines. We've got some lovely t-shirts going on here. We also have some nice bags here. Different kind of fabrics. And some badges. Lots of fridge magnets. Three, is it four or three for 100? Selection you like? No. Mix selection. I'm joking. <laughs> What they got over this side. Hello, ma'am. Okay. I look at what you got here. Okay. Okay. Uh, what? It's nice. What can excite me? Yeah. T shirt. Yeah. Look in your Tajir t shirts there. Where can I see the real Tajir? Uh, Upstairs? Wow, that would be great if I could see a real Tajir. I know they're an endangered species and uh, probably so difficult to find one, but it would be nice to see. I must say they have a real wide range of things that you could buy for gifts or remembrance. So many things here and the craft is really good and the quality is great and the prices are good. So it's really nice for tourists to go to this place. We're quite early, that's the reason why there's not that many people, but I can hear the coaches coming.
So we all jumped back into the car and headed up to the top of the Chocolate Hills viewpoint. Top of one of the Chocolate Hills where you have a clear viewpoint of all the Chocolate Hills. Can you see those steps? We gotta climb them. So let's take a look from here. What's going on this side? What's happening over here? I know we gotta climb that. Wow, that's a beautiful view. I wonder if the Tajas are looking at me looking for them. <laughs> So many more chocolate hills on this side. Wow, and it looks more jungly and really the kind of place that a Taj would live. What a beautiful island we can see them through there. It's like sitting on top of the world. I don't know. I don't know how many steps I gotta climb, but everybody else is doing it. I guess I can do it all the way to the top, all the way. Everybody comes up here to take some pictures, but really it's to take some rest. After climbing up those steps, I don't know how many, but it was quite a lot. So as you can see, it's a wonderful view from up here. Bohol has so many chocolate hills, they're surrounded by chocolate hills. And all I got to say is, my time in Bohol has been fantastic. What goes up must come down, so let's make our journey down. You can see we all needed a rest after hiking up and down that big chocolate hill. So that's it, we'll say goodbye to the Chocolate Hills tourist uh, viewpoint and make our way to the rice farm. That was our morning of leisure, now it's back to work. is the black rice.
little packet. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like, and live lovingly.